Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to do an updated video on how to uh, clean and potentially quiet or restore a tower fan. I'll first start, uh, the prior one I did was uh, I think like 2015, so quite a while ago. Uh, and this one hopefully be better quality, that one was really bad like uh, when I was starting out with a webcam and not my greatest, but nonetheless a lot of people watched it and it seemed like a lot of people had helped. So that was the preface for um, this video. A lot of people in that old one asked about, uh, you know, not being able to take it apart or not having the tools. And uh, with this, th that fan was actually pretty easy. I think it just had standard Phillips. And it was you could just get that whole thing apart. This is a Lasco. And I believe it uses a Torx bit, but it's recessed. And my bit drivers, the adapter won't fit in that hole. And I thought about drilling the holes wider, but they're really deep, so by the time you drill through them, it's going to make a huge mess, and you got a bunch of them. And on top of that, I'll probably end up drilling the top of this uh, bit out and, like, ruining it or something. So I've done this before. It did work because it had a squeak. I did this three years ago, and it hasn't made a, any type of uh, squeaking sound since. But it is due for another clean, so I will oil it again. And I'm just going to show all the steps to that. Uh, now I will say that if you can take yours apart if it's just Phillips or if you have like a long shaft uh, Torx screwdriver that uh, doesn't have a bit adapter on it and you can take it apart I suggest doing so because you can clean out the case much better you can actually take the fan cage out uh, rinse it off really clean it good and really get the oil right on that motor or on the I guess you call it a spindle or something but you can get direct contact but again, if you don't want to take it apart, or you can't like me, or at least not easily, uh, we'll do it this way. It's a little bit easier, and it's pretty simple. It's going to involve an air compressor, and then just oiling it. And I did use a drill to get the to the oiling points that I made um, for the motor. It's just right down there. That one you can access through the fan grill. But for up top, I did drill a hole in the back to make it a little bit easier. But that's not exactly necessary. Now this fan's not too bad. You can see though it is starting to collect. What I do when I vacuum, I'll just try and do the this little top part, but you don't get all that much. And it's worse here because you have this adapter, so you have even more obstructions to the airflow that can get dust in them. Uh, it was so bad uh, when I had it first do this that it would just blow chunks of dust everywhere every so often. And I would suggest not using compressed air because it's too precise. So it would just take so much. You'd probably, it'd just cost way too much to do it. It'd be cheaper to buy a new fan. Uh, an air compressor is the way to go. I think this might have been one of the ones I started to drill out and I decided it would be too hard to drill that far in. So you can see the cage does have some dust That's not horrible. And again, when I vacuum, I'll try and do this cage, but you can't get in there, you have to blow it out. And then one thing I do is I like to, uh, usually there's an indentation in the carpet, but since this has a specific rotation, I like to get uh, two different spots of the room. I'll mark this and then I'll mark the carpet and then I know exactly what orientation to put it back in. And one thing I like to do is remove the base. Uh, it just, so that way when you're laying it down, it, it kind of, you don't want to put too much because these are pretty chintzy. And then it's a good idea to wrap these up, gum band or a twist tie. So you don't have to work with that. And when I've done unboxings of fans in the past, people were saying that they didn't like that I didn't show to assemble the base. I think it's pretty simple, but I guess the hardest part would be these ones. I'm sure there are some that are fully assembled, but these are in two separate pieces and you have to lock them into place. So, I mean, I guess maybe if they don't line up correctly. See, but it's also attached to the fan. 
And then for reassembly, which I probably won't show, it's going to be the same thing. You can actually set this fan on top of the base temporarily. Uh, one thing that I, I blow the majority of it out with the air compressor. But then you can also stand it up while it's running and blow. You can usually get a little more just that two different movements seem to generate maybe a little more uh, wind. So you might want to take that base with you. If I, do, I'm not sure if I'll do that. But this fan, so you gotta unscrew it from the tower itself. And then you have to separate these two pieces, which I did the two pieces first. And so these two tabs align there. And then you want your cord to be in there too, so it's in the correct orientation. And actually, you can see there's a <laughs> quite a bit of dust to collect it down in there, so I will take this outside and blow it out too. Kind of glad that I did show this, but uh, and then it'll be the same thing for reassembly. You'll put it back, run this cord through first, or if it's open, you can just lay it in there. Four screws, and then you could actually do the base first. These two that'll put, hold this back together on it should be pretty simple but if you've never done it before then that's how at least this model works I mean you might be able to second already get getting some chunks of uh, dust here so you definitely want to do this outside I wouldn't even do it in a garage or a basement because it's gonna make dust everywhere so do it outside and I'll try and explain a little bit here because uh, outside you know, there's always stuff going on you can't control that and my air compressor, I live in an apartment, so I just have a little Ryobi one gallon. And it has enough pressure, but it, it's going to constantly um, run out so that, that uh, it's going to keep filling up. And then it'll take a while to fill it back up and get pressure again. And it's very loud. So if you have an air compressor, you already know how they work. You probably have a bigger one than that. So I probably won't show too much. I'll just explain it ahead of time, but I will show it should get most of it out. And a quick tip, uh, you can also use this for uh, vacuum cleaners. I have a Dyson, I might take that out and spray it out some too, but Dysons are pretty easy to pull apart and clean those by hand, but just to get some of the heavier dust out before I do that, I might give that a shot too. But uh, i get some footage of it uh, actually being dusted. Now I'm not sure how well it'll translate on camera, but four and I'll probably get like five whole seconds until it all Okay, so I think I got it pretty clean. Uh, I mean, you can see there's not like a bunch of dust caked on it anymore. But what I like to do 
is I'll go over it with a paper towel. Either some water or some cl all purpose cleaner and get off that light film. And again, if you have a regular full sized air compressor, you'll save yourself a lot of time from that one just constantly needing to fill back up. And I would have to say, if you don't have an air compressor, then this really won't work. Uh, unless you have, like, I don't know if a hair dryer would be strong enough. It'd be better than nothing. But like I said, I definitely wouldn't use compressed air because you're going to go through so much of it because just that, sp that spray is too narrow. And then I'll get off a little bit left behind there. And lastly, what I would say for the most important part is the lubrication. Again, mine, uh, my noise is up top, but with the old one, my problem was the fan, the motor was making a squeaking sound. And I did oil it a few times and then it finally just quit working because it's probably just too much, not enough clearance or something. But uh, with this, I'm going to use three in one. Uh, if you have WD-40, it will work, but it won't last very long. It might help clean up some of the old residue. And then I also use white lithium grease, but the problem with that is it's much heavier. It cakes on, and it usually won't penetrate in. So sometimes what I'll do is creep some oil in, down into it, then put a little white lithium to kind of cake around the edge, and then put a little more of this to help saturate that. And maybe that where it cakes on, it'll retain some oil, and then just, I don't know. Uh, for this part, I'm not going to do it just yet, but I don't know if you can see. I actually might not even be able to fit this tip in here. I'm actually going to have to drip it down. So uh, for my situation, I'll just have to drip some of this in, which is more messy. But it doesn't matter as much since the squeak isn't here for mine. say that's plenty and then I'm gonna put it upright and ideally you want to do that on a paper towel I don't think any drip through because I've done it before I only put a few drops since this one wasn't squeaking but then I'll let it sit for a minute or so just to help let some of that seep in but then obviously it's always going to be orientated this way now with this fan, the noise was coming from this top part, which I'm not sure if you'd call that a spindle. It's kind of the top um, shaft, and the, the bottom one goes into the motor, and then this top one just in that bushing that retains it. So there's nothing, it's just a moving bushing, there's no uh, drive there. And it almost looks like that's like a white I mean, it, it might be the lithium grease, but it's either plastic or a metal shaft in that writing in that bushing. And that's where my squeak was. And I again, it, since I did it, it silenced it. But from this angle, it's kind of like that motor down there. You couldn't really get to it too good. So what I did, which if you didn't have a drill, you could probably just do it like that and kind of drip it again. But on the back here, I just got a drill and drilled out three holes and see if I can get it to focus down in there. You can kind of see where that uh, lithium grease dried on. So I think it is time to saturate that again. But that was what I did to make it way easier was to just drill three holes and then push out the little extra little tabs that are left since they don't give you a provision to oil it and that's what I do. Now, I'm not going to add any more lithium grease to it because, as you can see, it's still pretty well coated. But I'm going to drop some in. And you don't want it ton, you just want it to come out a couple drops at a time. And then, one thing to note is uh, when you turn the fan back on, 
uh, there's probably it's gonna spray a little bit of oil depending on if you put too much because it's moving so fast so bear that in mind if you have it in front of a TV or furniture you might want to hold off on setting it permanently and then what I might do is even flip this upside down and let some of that because uh, we know when it's normally set up it's gonna be the opposite way so I will let some of that oil just drip down in this way coat that portion and then let that for a minute or so and then it'll, when it's its regular side the rest will seep that way so it's not the simplest it's definitely more convoluted than just being able to take it apart but uh, if you don't want to spend the money to try and get the right bit drive or a Torx long handled screwdriver then this is a pretty efficient way to do it okay so everything looks clean enough to me again it's not as good as taking it apart and actually being able to rinse off that cage so there's still a light um, coating of dust but it's not caked on anymore and again it wasn't that bad to begin with I don't have pets or anything so that helps to wear usually just uh, vacuuming just this outer case is enough to keep it looking pretty good but it's all cleaned up you saw how I dripped some oil on there I didn't have any noises this last time three years after I last oiled it which is pretty impressive so let me go ahead and you might see it again that's a good reason to not just maybe even do the first start outside because there are a little couple pieces of dust and such that'll still get thrown out probably for five or ten minutes but it's a uh, as quiet as it can be there's no squeaks or anything different and it probably doesn't sound too good on camera so I'll probably go ahead and cut it here but uh, uh, it's back in working order so that's uh, hopefully helpful uh, I think I did a better job, at least with the camera quality, than uh, the old video. That one's still relevant if you want to watch it, if you can take yours apart. But if not, really just hitting it with an air compressor would it do most of the work for you. And it's just a matter of getting oil in there. If you can get it in between the grates on this, or if you have a drill and you want to do what I did and drill a nice little access port in the back that nobody will see, that works even better. So I really hope this helped out. Let me know. I know all fans are different and people have different ways, but if this is a guide to help you out or if you have some tips or how you did it with yours, uh, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.